Mojulip Foundation is a non-profit open source foundation founded in 2020. We host an open source clearing system for low value instant payments and develop APIs for interoperability between financial service providers focused on the use cases critical to the world's poor. Today, the last mile is the longest mile for those millions of people in the world who don't have access to traditional banking services. The Mojulip APIs were developed in collaboration with the world's leading mobile money vendors who serve 1 billion mobile money accounts and reach 96% of the countries where a majority of the population can't access traditional banking services. There is a need to connect traditional market infrastructure that already exists today to last mile account providers in a cost-effective manner. Our submission demonstrates how using ISO 222 messages and the Modulip APIs, we're able to connect traditional market participants with the many different account holding institutions in the developing world's financial ecosystem. To do this, we map the Modulube three-step transaction pattern onto ISO 222 messages and leverage the Interledger protocol to include end-to-end -end data elements that connect these disparate systems. The Modulube three-step transaction pattern allows a data agent to firstly discover if the creditor identifier they have, such as a mobile number, identifies a valid creditor account to which they can route a payment. Secondly, agree the terms of the payment with the ultimate creditor agent. And finally, submit the payment instruction. Modulube systems also use the Interledger protocol, which mandates the sending of an end-to-end -end data element called a payment condition as part of the final instruction. The payment condition is pre-agreed between the parties. It has a cryptographic signature called a fulfillment, which is only produced by the creditor agent when the payment is cleared to the creditor. The fulfillment data element passed end-to-end -end from the creditor to the debtor can be relied upon by intermediaries and the creditor itself as a cryptographically verifiable signal that the creditor has been paid. Market infrastructure, such as the module clearing system, considers delivery of the fulfillment as a signal of finality and an indicator that the payment may be settled. In our solution, the debtor agent queries a global discovery service using a get account message to get the BIC of a traditional market participant that can route payments. In this case, a mobile number, identifying a mobile money account in one. The service responds with a return account message. The debtor agent sends a customer credit transfer initiation message to the party identified by the discovery service. This party then uses the Mojuloop APIs to communicate with the Mojuloop local lookup service to find the mobile money system that is the ultimate creditor agent and set up a transaction agreement with them. The details of the agreement, including the payment condition, which was added as a new data element, are passed back to the debtor in a creditor payment activation request. With all of the payment details at hand, the debtor is able to execute the payment. The debtor agent will send the payment instruction in the form of a FI to FI customer credit transfer message which carries the end-to-end -end payment condition. The intermediary, intermediary party will use the Mojuloop APIs to execute an instant transfer to the creditor. As soon as this is cleared by the creditor agent, the fulfillment is passed back to the intermediary party who returns it to the debtor via an fi 2 fi payment status report. Mojuloop uses the Interledger protocol because of the finality provided by a cryptographic signature which is carried in the payment instructions. This facilitates straight through processing without the need for reconciliation and disputes. It avoids the errors that result in delays and costs that poor users can ill afford. It offers first a way for the banked and the unbanked to exchange funds safely, quickly and securely. Second, confidence that payments are being sent to the intended recipient. Third, transparency to all parties of the complete terms of the transfer. And fourth, certainty for the debtor of the finality of the credit of payment. We extend the reach of the ILP protocol into the traditional payment market infrastructure by passing the necessary interledger data elements in ISO 20022 messages so that they can be exchanged end to end. We further expand the use of multiple ISO 20022 messages to facilitate a complete three-step transaction, providing a traditional debtor with confidence that their payment is going to the intended recipient and trust in its finality. 